Lord, this is the day that the Lord has made. We thank him for allowing us to see another day. I tell you, I I don't take it for granted, and I'm sure you don't either. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy of all the praise. I welcome you to Evening Light Christian Outreach Ministry, where our pastor is District Elder Alton F. Pettis. Our services are as follows. Sunday at 10 a.m. is worship service here at the church, 222 Crane Highway, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. On Tuesdays is our level of Bible study at 7 p.m. via Zoom. And I tell you, the Lord is just definitely taking us to another, another level. Our teaching is avoiding distractions. And I'm looking forward to this week's Bible study. Not that I don't look forward to the others, but to this one because it's about offenses. And I think all of us can relate to being offended at some point or another, whether it's by a co-worker, loved one, friend, or whatever. But I'm sure that we will be blessed and that we will learn some more and that the Lord will take us to another level in how to handle offenses. On Wednesdays is intercessory prayer at noon. And I'm asking for special prayer for everyone on the list, but specifically for Minister Harry Washington and his wife, Erica. Again, there are others that are on the list that need our prayers, need healing, need deliverance, need salvation. Um, there's just so much to pray for. But we thank God that he answers prayers. We thank God that he hears our cry. On Thursdays, our Level Up teaching at 8 a.m., is on YouTube, and to view us there is Evening Light COC and Facebook Live at Evening Light Church. So again, if you miss us on Sundays via Facebook Live and YouTube, you can take part in the teaching or view the teaching. Level up again at 8 a.m on YouTube, and that's Overcoming Distractions. Our announcements are as follows. In addition to recognizing October as Pastor Appreciation Month, it is Evening Life's 18th church anniversary, and it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I'm asking those that can and will, if you will, join me next week, the week after, whenever you can, even going to work. Wear something pink. We are, that's, again, recognition for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But it's also, for me, a way of praising God for the deliverance. We have a daughter that's a breast cancer survivor. survivor. We have a couple of close friends that are breast cancer survivors. And we thank God for that. And so we're asking you to join us for Breast Cancer Awareness Month by wearing pink, whether it's to church or to work or just a ribbon, something to say, Lord, I thank you for what you have done and for what you are doing with those survivors. Mark your calendars on Sunday, 
October the 24th at 3 p.m. Our speaker will be Pastor M.D. Neal from Lion of Judah, the Kingdom Church. Now, please note that on Sunday, October the 24th, we're only having one service, and that will be at 3 p.m. And again, our speaker will be Pastor M.D. Neal, Lion of Judah, the Kingdom Church. And on Saturday, October the 30th, we have an outgoing service. The pastor will be the speaker at 10 a.m. That's Saturday, October 30th at 10 a.m. He will be the speaker at Sanctuary of Praise. And the location is 1800 Hazelwood Drive, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Again, that Sanctuary of Praise where Pastor Bernard Howard um, ministers, and it will be at 1800 Hazelwood Drive, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Also, save the date. Saturday, November the 6th, is our second annual prayer walk, and it will be from 9 to 12 p.m. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Stop by any time during those hours. We will have six prayer demarcation locations where you can go, stop by, pray for your family, healing, deliverance, etc. We would love for you to join us. The theme is Lord, teach us to pray. Again, that Saturday November the 6th. So what am I going to ask you to do? Tell someone to meet, meet us, us at, at the, the light. light. Where our mission is to, to teach, teach, train, train equip, equip, and empower the body of Christ to live the abundant, victorious life as we await the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Our contact information is as follows. Our email address is theeveninglight.light at AOL. That's theeveninglight.light at AOL.com. Our telephone number is 301 390 Ways to make a donation are as follows our website eveninglightchurch.org there's a donate button there givelify evening light church of christ paypal evening light church or cash app that's dollar sign e l c o m 12 that's dollar sign e l c o m and the number 12 or those that choose to use snail mail our address is Post Office Box 4854 Upper Marlboro, Maryland 20775. We thank you in advance for the support of this ministry. We want to welcome our guest speaker who's here with her wonderful husband. Praise God. That is none other than my friend, Lady. Janice Jones and Elder Charles Jones. We want to recognize them. We're looking for a powerful word from her, a powerful word from the Lord today. Hey Lord, I thank you. I thank you for another opportunity to stand before you. And I'm going to ask my granddaughter to, to come forward. I'm going to come forward. We'll go ahead with prayer and we'll Pray the song after this. So, Elder, we'll have Elder Jones to come forward and then Tori. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't it awesome to be?
be saved and living a life to give God glory. Yes. What a blessing it is yes. to be covered by his protection, yes. by his divine protection, and by his blood. Let us all stand. Amen. Father God, in the precious, awesome, magnificent name of Jesus, we do honor you today. We do honor you with our lives, Lord. We present our bodies to you, a living sacrifice, totally and submissive unto you, which is our reasonable service, Lord. We thank you for the doors that you've opened for us. We thank you for the doors that you've closed. Mm. We pray for our yes, nation, Lord. God. Yes, we Lord. pray for those that are struggling, God. We pray that your divine healing will flow through our nation, Lord, binding the evil and Binding the lies, yes, Lord. Let yes, the truth, yes, God, yes. be revealed throughout our nation, Lord. Yes. Protect the weak from the strong, Lord. Protect the innocent from the wicked, God, like only you can. Yes. We glorify you because we know you are King of Kings. Yes. You are Lord of Lords. Yes. You are in absolute yes. control, yes. Lord. There's no power greater than your power. There, there's nothing that you can't do. We realize that it's God and God alone. Who we lean and we trust and we depend on. Nothing that man can provide for us will meet our every need. But God has promised yes, to supply our every need. We rest in that. We believe in it, Lord. We thank you and we praise you in advance for all that you have done, are doing, and will do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Our scripture reading this morning will come from the 95th Psalm, and I'll be reading verses 1 through 6. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. Yes. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of, his, of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Yes. Oh, come, let okay. us worship yes. and bow down. Yes. Let us kneel yes. before Thank the you. Lord, our maker. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Yes. Come on up. Yes.
that we have our missions jar there. It's not just foreign missions, it's missions yes. that yes. we help support the homeless yes. um, in our local area in Prince George's County. Um, we send money um, to help with foreign missions. Yes. So we ask that you not pass by, if you will, <laughs> the, the missions yes. jar. And also, because it is Pastor's Appreciation Month, for those that have cards and gifts, feel free to put your card or gifts in or in front of the, the box that we have displayed here this morning. Yeah. So we thank you. We thank you. We ask that, um, I'm going to ask Pastor if he would come and, and pray um, before the offering. And then everyone would stand and face the doors, walk that way, and then back the same way, if you will. Thank you. Devil's a liar. I said that devil's a liar. Right. That's right. That's right. I need to have that heard all over the world. Amen. Somebody yeah. needed to hear that this morning. Yeah. 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 God, I thank, thank you. you. I, I say thank that. You. Thank you. Gosh. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Can I get somebody to shout hallelujah with hallelujah. me? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We're, we're, we're teaching, we're Thank teaching on overcoming distractions. Yeah. yeah. And hallelujah. for some reason he picks today. Yeah. But I rebuke you, Satan. Yeah. Do I have somebody that's got yeah. the power to yeah. let him know that his, he's rebuked in the name of Jesus? No distraction, no distraction. None. We overcome it in the name of Jesus. Someone here needs to hear a word from the Lord. Yeah, yeah. And the enemy's trying all he yeah, can to yeah. stop that word from flowing. Yeah. Oh, we know your tricks. We know your... Yeah. That's yeah. nothing. Come on, talk to each other. That's nothing new to us. Yeah. But we have the power. Right. According to the word of God, yeah. we've got the power. Yeah. To yeah. We've yeah. got the power yeah. to yeah. take yeah. authority yeah. over the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. And I thank you, God. Thank you. See, sometimes he tries, and I'm going, I'm going to pray, but sometimes he tries to come into the house of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, silly, silly devil. Yeah. Silly, silly devil. Yeah. Silly, silly devil. Yeah. Silly, silly devil. Yeah. You cannot come in this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's covered by the blood. Yeah. It's covered with prayer. Yeah. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now let's pray. Thank Lord God, we thank you this morning. Thank you for the offering. Thank you for the gifts and the givers. Oh my God, I thank you, thank you Lord. for, thank for you. the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. I thank you for the power thank of the you. Holy Ghost, Lord. Thank you. Yes, you told Timothy thank to you. stir the gift, stir the gift. Yeah. Thank you, God. Yeah, oh my God, thank I you, thank you for. Every you, gift and every giver, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, my God, those that are giving not only to the local assembly, but to our missions, Lord. I'm asking that you bless, Lord. Oh, God, it's all about kingdom building, Father. Thank you, God. This is about your business. Ah, God. Thank not you, God. ours, yours, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we, we ask that you, the tithers that are giving you back your money, God. That special blessing on them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You only want 10%. Yes, and it's up to us to do whatever we want with the other 90. And I just thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, God. Thank you. That you stretched it, Lord. Thank hey, Lord. God. I thank you this morning. In Jesus' name. Thank amen. You, Lord. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ah, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. We thank God. We thank God for all that 
have given, we thank God. We ask that he continue to bless. I thank Pastor for the fervent prayer, and I thank God for his protection. He, he looks out for me. Well, we look out for each other. But that's not something that I take for granted. I, I'm just I'm just grateful. I know he loves me. <laughs> All right, maybe that should be the song this morning, but it's not. It's the, the song that I'm going to um, ask that be played in just a moment is Lord preparing yes. to be a sanctuary. But before I do, I want to introduce our speaker. And I intentionally did not ask for a bio because I wanted to speak from my heart. Janice Jones, who I call Janice, mm -hmm. I call Sis, is my friend. Yes. I, I love her. She is a bubbly person. She's a giving person. Sometimes I think to a fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when that gift is in you, yes. You don't have a choice. You do, you know, just how you're used to doing it. We have to be ourselves. She's also a creative person. She's a knowledgeable woman of God. I thank God that she's now retired, that she can just do whatever the Lord would have her to do, you know, mainly for him, but for her husband, her family. She's a mother, have wonderful children, beautiful, handsome son, beautiful daughters, you know, grandchildren. And I think if I remember correct, one is named Layla too, like my <laughs> my great grand Layla. I don't want to start calling names because I'll forget some. But she's also an anointed woman of God. Amen. Her pastor is Isaiah Long. And he's from, um, what is it, Baptized Believers Church in Washington, D.C., in my neighborhood where I grew up. The Lord has blessed them for a beautiful sanctuary. I'm just excited to hear what the Lord is going to do in her life. This lady is busy, busy, busy. And I thank God that she has taken time out of her schedule to come and minister to us today she you know and even at her church she does many things teach Sunday school just lead different groups I'm I'm just blessed to have her as a friend and to know her so after the song Lord prepare me the next voice that you will hear Lady Janice Jones from Baptized Believers Church in Washington DC Amen there's something so fast it's coming short. Sure. <laughs> quality of work is so important. Design does have a Lord, prepare me. Yes. They want to do commercials on us this morning, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what I already talked about distraction. Oh, the right. song is going to come forth. Yes. And it's going to bless us. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, 
sanctuary Lord for you I do honor God and thank him for another day yes. I was glad when they said unto me let yes. us go oh. into the house of the Lord yes. but in God's house there is peace yes. there is mm. joy mm. there is love yes. Yes. and in this house in even this in life <laughs> I'm grateful to be here Amen. it's always a good opportunity to come and fellowship with evening life with a wonderful yeah. pastor on the Pettis and his lovely wife, First Lady Marika, who is my friend. I thank God for them. Let's give God a praise for them. Beautiful conversation. Thank God for my husband being here, Elder Jones, who supports me and always stands beside me. I thank God for he, he's always there. God gave me a great man of God. Amen. And I just thank God because God is just so good. He woke us up this morning. Mm -hmm. He started us on our way. Somebody didn't get up this morning. Mm -hmm. But I praise God that he saw fit for us to. Now my scripture is going to be coming from 2 Samuel, the ninth chapter, mm -hmm. beginning at the first verse. And I'm going to read down to verses 11. David asked, mm -hmm. is there anyone still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now there was a servant of Saul's household named Ziba, and they summoned him to appear before David. And the king said to him, are you Ziba? At your service, he replied. The king asked, is there no one still alive from the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is lame in both his feet. Where is he? The king asked. Ziba answered, He is at the house of Makir, 
son of Amiel, in Lodibar. So King David had him brought from Lodabar, from the house of Machir, son of Amiel. When Mephibosheth, son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honor. David said, Mephibosheth, at your service, he replied. Don't be afraid, David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore to you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul, yeah. and you will always eat at my table. Yeah. But Phimosheth bowed down and said, what is your servant that you should notice a dead dog like me? Mm -hmm. Then the king summoned Ziba, Saul's servant, steward, and said to him, I have given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. You and your sons and your servants are to farm that land for him and bring in the crops so that your master's grandson may be provided for. And Mephibosheth, grandson of your master, will always eat at my table. Now Ziba had 15 sons and 20 servants. Then Ziba said to the king, your servant will do whatever my lord the king commands his servant to do. So Mephibosheth ate at David's table like one of the king's sons. Let us pray. Dear God, I thank you for this day. But this is the day that you have made, God, and we are rejoicing. I thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to stand before your people, God, to deliver the word. Please touch the hearts of each one in here at the sound of my voice, God, and send a blessing their way, God. Let somebody know that you are there, God. Let somebody know, Lord, that you care about them. And that you're going to bless them mightily. In Jesus' name I pray. What a beautiful story of God's love and grace. Amen. King David is asking, is there anyone still alive from the house of Saul? Anyone that I can bless and show kindness to? Anyone that I can show God's grace to? The same grace that God has extended toward me. Is there anyone? You see, God rains down his grace and he brings salvation to all of us. Titus 2 and 11 says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. And as Christians, God wants us to show that same love, that same kindness, and that same grace to others. The same kindness and grace and love that he has extended toward us. Amen? Amen. It's amazing what the grace, grace of God can do. God's grace can heal. Yes. God's grace can restore. Yes. God's grace can bring joy to a stale, stagnant life. Mm -hmm. The grace of God can move mountains of shame and guilt. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can liberate. God's grace can save. Amazing grace, how mm. sweet the sound mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that saved a wretch mm -hmm. like me. Amen. Let's praise God for his grace. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. You see, grace is the undeserved, mm -hmm. unmerited favor of God. Something you can't buy. Something you can't even earn. Amen. Right. Now let's take a look at Mephibosheth. Let's go way back in Old Testament Israel, where King Saul and his son Jonathan were killed in battle. Mm -hmm. And the news of their deaths, it came to the palace. Yes. The nurse who was caring for Jonathan's five-year-old son, mm -hmm. Mephibosheth, she grabbed him up, and in her haste to flee, mm -hmm. he fell and became permanently crippled in both his feet. But why was she running so fast? Mm -hmm. Because it was customary back then that when a new leader of the new royal family, they came, when they came on board, they would execute mm. any potential heir from the former dynasty. Because they may come to have claimed, you know, I want to, it's my turn, I, mm -hmm. I, I have uh, rights. Mm -hmm. So they would execute them. Mm. So she was trying to save the boy Mephibosheth. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay? So for over 20 years, we don't hear anything about Mephibosheth. He's taken out of Jerusalem to a place called Lodabar. Lodabar is a wasteland. It's a place of no hope. It's an isolated place, a barren place. It's a terrible existence. 
okay? So King David, he's remembering his old friend Jonathan. He remembered the covenant that he made with Jonathan. And what covenant did he make with Jonathan? He promised Jonathan that he would not kill any of his descendants once he became king. Mm. And now David is fulfilling that promise. Mm. So David is asking the question, is there anyone left from the house of Saul? Mm -hmm. Yes, Saul, who was insanely jealous mm -hmm. of David. Mm -hmm. Saul, who hated and tormented David. Mm -hmm. Saul, who chased him across the hills of Israel, mm -hmm. trying to take his life. Mm -hmm. Saul, who caused David to live in caves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Saul. Mm -hmm. Just think about this. After all King Saul did or tried to do to David, David refused to take his life. Yes, Although yes, he had many opportunities, yes, yes. he said, touch not my mm -hmm. anointing. And Saul was God's anointing. Mm -hmm. So David said, no, I'm not going to take I'm not going to hurt him. Because Jesus said, if we only love those who love, love us, mm -hmm. the love of the Father is not yes. in us, right? You see, grace is loving the unlovable. Mm -hmm. Grace is showing mercy to the merciless. Mm -hmm. Grace is being good to the totally bad. Mm -hmm. It's showing kindness to the unkind, mm -hmm. and it's forgiving the unforgivable. And this is just what David did, and it's what God does for us. Amen? Amen. 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 So King David sent for Mephibosheth from Lodibar, and he came to the palace. But when he got there, he referred to himself as a dead dog, worse than worthless. He didn't think of much of himself. But you know what? He didn't hide his brokenness from King David. He did not hide his brokenness. He fell down on his face, giving honor to King David. Okay? When we don't hide our brokenness from God, <laughs> what does God do? When we come humbly before God, and we have a humble spirit before him, God is glorified. He's glorified. He accepts us and loves us just the way we are. So many Christians are settling for a low-level living, like they're living in Lodabar. When God has so much for us, we are royalty, destined for greatness. But King David made a place for Mephibosheth at his table. And King Jesus has set a place for each of us at his table. So we need to let go of that dead dog mentality <laughs> and receive everything. Everybody say everything. Everything. Everything that God has for us. Every promise. Every blessing. Every dream. Every hope. Every gift everything good that God has for us. So stop settling for less and take your place at the table that God has set for us. Yes, yes. You know, when we entered, I mean, when sin entered the garden, man fell and became permanently crippled until Jesus came to redeem, mm -hmm. until Jesus came to restore. Mm -hmm. Because the fall, because of that fall, we lost our inheritance. We lost our connection. We lost our right fellowship. We lost our relationship. Jesus is saying to a crippled, sinful world, is there anyone I can show my kindness to? Anyone to show my amazing grace to? Anyone whose life has been shattered and dreams have been crushed? Anyone suffering from guilt, shame, and condemnation? Anyone forsaken, betrayed, or rejected? Is there anyone whose future seems hopeless? Mm. God's amazing grace will give you a new beginning. He's looking for someone to shine his grace upon, to offer an opportunity to eat at his, at his table all the days of their life. Not just one meal or two meals, but all the days of your life. So who's ready to take a seat at his table? Mm -hmm. King David went after Mephibosheth to show him God's grace and give him a new way of living. King Jesus came after us to shine his grace upon us and give us a new way of living. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is there
Now, anyone who's coming to dinner, mm -hmm. anyone who's ready to dine with the master, mm -hmm. anyone in need of deliverance mm -hmm. or breakthrough, mm -hmm. anyone tired of living in loaded bar, mm -hmm. Jesus, King David, told Mephibosheth to fear not. He said, fear not. He restored to him all that his grandfather Saul had. He brought him from a place of nothing to a place of plenty. He told him he would eat at his table continually as one of his sons. King Jesus tells us, fear not. He restores to us all that the enemy took from us. He brings us from a place of sadness to a place of gladness. Yes, yeah. you, he offers an opportunity for us to eat continually at his table as one of his children. Mm. Yeah. Who would turn down an invitation like this? A divine invitation mm. from mm. Jesus. Mm. King David adopts Mephibosheth into his family. King Jesus ad adopts us into his royal family of believers. What a powerful picture of love and grace. Despite our flaws and shortcomings, regardless of our weaknesses and failures, mm -hmm. Jesus looks beyond our faults and yes. he sees Thank our you. needs. Yes. So is there anyone? Anyone hungry? Yes. Hungry for the word? Yes. Yes. Anyone thirsty? Thirsty for truth? Mm -hmm. Oh, what a privilege that God wants us to feast with him. Luke 22 and 30 says, you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let's see what God's table represents. Yes. God's oh, table yes. represents provision. Yes. Amen. Amen. And my God shall supply oh, how something? many needs? Oh, oh my needs according to his riches and glory. Wrong. God's table represents protection. Uh, uh, uh. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. God's table represents his presence. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. So come one, come all. There's room at the master's table. Yes, yes. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, let's thank the Lord for that word. Let's all stand. Let's all stand. We're all standing. There's room at the table. Amen. There's room at the table. Yes. There's room at the table. Come one, come all. Yes. Come one, come all. Yeah, yeah. The master is calling us today. Yes. The master is calling us. Thank you, Jesus. The master is calling us. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's no need for us to, to be hungry. No, no. There's no need for us to consider ourselves as a dead dog. Amen. Oh, what a message. What a message. No, no, no. Kingdom kids. Kingdom kids. And king's kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, I'm a king's kid. I'm, I'm, king's kid. I'm a Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to, yes. let's elevate that. Yes. I'm a king's kid. I'm a right. king's kid. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. The world, the world loves to put you down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but the devil is a lie. I'm a king's kid. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm, we, we. We are children of the King of Kings. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, you like that, Sister Sally? Yes. Yeah. Not just a king, yes. but the King yes. of Kings king. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, I thank God for that word this thank morning. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, missionary. I put missionary out there. Thank you, missionary Joe's. Hallelujah. So, oh, God. Sometimes, you, you, you know, we go on. We go on. Did, did you hear what she said? She said that all of the all of the former king's family should have been tormented and killed. Mm -hmm. And yet and still, the Lord had that one son yes. hidden away yeah. for 20 years. God has hidden some of us. Oh, God, help me. Yes. I said, God has hidden some of us. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know, if it wasn't for God, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Yeah. Elder Jones, I feel yeah. the Holy Ghost in yeah. here. Yeah. If it wasn't for God, First Lady, yeah. some of the crazy things we did, if it wasn't for God, oh, yes, yes, yes. If it wasn't for God, some of the mistakes we made, yeah. if yeah. it wasn't for God taking yeah. us and hiding us away yeah. for right. 
20 years. Come on now. But God did it. And now you're sitting at the table. Yeah. You ought to tell the Lord thank you. You ought to tell the Lord thank you. Oh, God, I thank you so much. I thank you. I thank you so much. Yes. Oh, God, Missionary Jones, I thank you for that word. Yeah, it stirred me. It stirred me. Yeah. It stirred me. I, I know we don't like to remember Lodabar. We don't like to think, oh, no, not me. No, 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 no Mickey, not me, not Lodabar. I wasn't, I wasn't in that place, not me. Yeah. Oh, God. y'all got me mistaken. Uh, but you don't know how far you came to oh, remember right. Right. where he brought you from. Oh, God, hallelujah. Yeah. Why you stir the Holy Ghost up like that here? Yeah. Huh? You don't remember? Oh, where the Lord brought you away. He brought me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, some Thank of us you. are self-righteous in our thinking. And, yeah. and God bless those of you that are, but he brought you from low to bar, too. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes, he oh, did. Yes, he I did. know right. you didn't smoke, you didn't drink, and you never cussed. Uh, God bless you, but he still yeah, bought you from Lodabar. Yeah. And I thank God. I thank, thank God you. for that word this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, oh, thank God, you. if you're here, thank you're, you, you're here, and, and, and mm, you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. This is your opportunity after hearing that word. This is your opportunity. Those that are listening by means of the Internet, this is your opportunity Wherever you are, you can come to the Lord. You don't have to wait till you get to 222 Crane Highway. You don't have to wait till you get to your local assembly. The, you can come just as you are yes. this morning. Oh, God. Thank you, God. All you want to do is just let the Lord, Lord know. Let the Lord know, Lord, I receive you as my personal Savior. Yeah. God, talking about, ah, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yeah. yes Lord. I receive yeah, Lord. you today, Lord. Thank you. As my personal savior, there is, yes, Lord, there is a bomb in Gilead, Lord, and I receive you this morning. I acknowledge you, God. Thank you. Acknowledge you. Thank you, Jesus. That's where it starts at. Thank you, Jesus. That's where it starts. That's where people try to skip over that, but it starts there with an acknowledgement of God. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible tells us he that cometh must first believe. That he is. Yes. That he's a reward of yes. them that diligently yes. 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 Then find yourself a Bible believing, Bible teaching church. And don't go to try to argue anything. Just tell them, I want to be baptized. I, get, get somebody to get Acts. Yeah, I, I heard about Acts 2.38. And I don't want to argue it. I just want to be baptized. Yeah. Yeah. I just want somebody to yeah. come back Hallelujah. when they take me down in Jesus' name. Yeah. That, that's all I want. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have to get into no dispute about it. Yeah. Then the Bible says, and he shall give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, isn't God good? Yeah. Isn't God Hallelujah. good? Isn't God good? Hey. If you don't know him like that. You're living beneath your privilege. Yeah. Jesus. I invite you today. I invite you wherever you are. Those that are sick in your bodies, if you're here in the sanctuary, wherever you are, if you would just raise your hand. I, I know because of the pandemic, we're not touching and we're elbowing and all that. But God is still a healer. Yeah, still yeah. A healer. The yeah. fervent yeah. prayer yeah. of the righteous Hallelujah. still avails. Yeah. Amen, yeah. amen, yeah. amen. Yeah. Yeah. And we thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Lord willing, we'll see you on next Sunday, same time. And, and you heard all the announcements. Whew, we've got a month ahead of us, even though like, but I'm telling you, God's going to be glorified yes, yes. in the move, in the movement. Yes. And invite someone to come next Sunday with you. Invite someone to come yes. as we go higher in the Lord again, yes. missionary. Jones, thank you so much, Janice, thank for you. allowing the Lord to use you. For allowing the Lord to yes. use you Hallelujah. in this house. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for Amen. that. Let's thank God. That was Joseph. You would come and give us the benediction. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Yes, thank you, brother, Jesus. My brother. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the awesome message and the message touched me. The message was for everyone. Because no matter where you are right now, yes, God. 
you came and you live in Lodabar. Yes. You live in my translation of Lodabar. You live below the bar. My God. You live below you live. the bar. Yes. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you for the word to remind us that we didn't get here by ourselves. We didn't get exalt ourselves. It was your blood that washed us clean. It was your blood, Lord, that cleansed us from all sin, past, present, and future. It is your grace that forgive us, Lord. And we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for evening light the pastor and the first lady and the members of this church, Lord. We know that this is a stop in Zion yes. where you were used to bless many people. Lord, let our meditation please you. Mm. Let our conversation honor you. Yes. Thank you. And our conduct give you glory mm. yes. all the yes. days of our lives mm. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Reach your brothers and